Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mayor Miara. Hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and that notification bell to get notified on new and upcoming videos. Thank you. In today's tutorial, we're going to go over how to set up a basic Halloween home automation. As you guys know, and everybody know, we have a lot of automation available to us today. We have smart things, IFTTT, Google Home, etc., etc. In this tutorial, I'm going to try to focus on the very basics so everybody can utilize that. I'm going to try to generalize as much as possible because in the tutorial that I'm going to go show you guys today, even though I'm using smart things and IFTTT for that specific purpose, the outcome is achievable using multiple platforms and multiple, multiple options. We can go as complex as possible or as simple as possible. So in today's tutorial, I will want to show you guys how to set it up in the most basic way while still receiving the outcome for a quick and awesome Halloween scare. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys first the items that I'm using for today's tutorial. So first thing first, I'm using, of course, an Android phone. Just a regular Android phone running whichever operating system there is, 6.0 and above. Second thing is a power bank. Just a simple power bank so I can utilize my phone and have enough power for the entire night of Halloween. Third thing, a Bluetooth speaker. This is a very simple 10 to 15 bucks Bluetooth speakers that I'm going to utilize for this tutorial and for this Halloween event. Furthermore, the applications that I'm using installed on my phones are Tasker and IFTTT. What I'm going to use for my automation will be an integration with SmartThings, Smart Switch, my phone, and IFTTT. So how am I going to set it up? Basically, I'm going to set up that anytime there will be a motion detected in one of my sensors that I'm going to specifically put in, my fr in the front of my house, every time a motion will occur, there will be a push notification being sent to the phone. That push notification will then trigger an activity or more like a task within Tasker to generate another event. In my case scenario, I'm going to turn on the lights or pulse lights if you have the capabilities or availability to, such as using LifeX system or SmartThings pulse lights, etc., etc. And then I'm going to play an audio file pre-recorded through the Bluetooth speaker that I'm going to hide under the bushes. That audio recording will basically be a scream that I have pre-recorded on the phone. Okay, so without further ado, I want to show you guys how to basically set it up. So I'm going to go with the assumption that you guys are familiar with smart things or familiar in a very basic for home automation. The reason is because, like I mentioned earlier, there's multiple ways to achieve the outcome that I'm going to show you guys today. So I'm going to utilize smart things which I already have and already using, but it can be done with Ring, Nest Hello, or any motion sensor, to be honest. Anything that can generate an action based on that trigger. So if I will go, or if you guys go to ifttt.com forward slash create, you will get this page. This is very simple. It basically means if this, what do you want, what, what is occurring, then that, what do you want to occur? So if in my case scenario, I will, cl I will cl click on if this, and I will search for smart things. I will want to add new motion, and I will choose my specific motion. In my case, I already called it Halloween motion. This is triggered by a very generic SmartThings motion detector. I will create that trigger and then I will do then that. In my case, again, I will go to SmartThings
and I will switch on my front door lights. I will create that action, hit continue, and make sure, this is important, make sure that I receive notifications when the applet run. Click finish, and that's it. This is all the triggers that I had to set from IFTTT. The second step will be go into my phone applications and set it up through there. Now I know there's a little bit more complexity to add into this. I will talk about it by the end of the video, but for simplicity reasons, I kept it as that. The complexity that I'm uh, mentioning is for an example, if I would want to then automatically turn off the lights again after a certain amount of time. For an example, that trigger will turn on the light based on motion, but then turn it off again after one minute. The reason is, is to basically cycle through each time a kid or somebody goes through my house and, and triggers a motion. So on the phone, I already have pre-installed Tasker. Click on Tasker. If I can get to it, one second, there you go. In Tasker, you will see that I already created this. I've created a profile called Halloween and a task called Halloween. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create that. So if I, you click on a plus sign under tasks, you first have to go to tasks, click on a plus sign. I will call it demo just for the sake of this video. Under demo, I will then click on the plus sign again in tasks. And what I want to occur I want to make sure that I choose music play. Here I would choose, I would click on a magnifying glass and I will choose the pre-recorded audio file that I've created. So in this case, I've already created, created three iterations. I'll choose any one of them. It could be a downloaded file that you guys were already downloaded from the internet a scream or a notification or whatever it could be, just use your imagination. You need to make sure that you have that ticked, continue task immediately. That's it. You click back. Now you created your task. After we have set up our task, now it's time to create the profile. So move on to the profile tab. Now we'll click on a plus and again, let's call it demo again. Now, we need to basically choose an event because all of our automation is based on triggers and events. So in this case scenario, we want to make sure that you create an event based on a notification coming into the phone from IFTTT. So we will choose an event. Then we'll simply search for notifications. We'll choose that. Now we have over here owner application. Let's click on that and let's choose IFTTT. Once IFTTT is chosen, we'll simply go back. And there's nothing else you need to do here. So we'll just go back. Now, now that we've created a profile, we need to basically attach a task to that profile. Now remember, we already created the task one step in advance. So we'll this time, we'll just choose the one that we created called demo. And that's it. Now we created a, and don't forget, of course, to commit the changes. Now we basically created, as soon as an IFTTT notification will come into the phone, it will trigger that task called demo. That task called demo will then play that file, whatever it may be, whatever you guys chose. That's it. That is the entire home automation. So let's run through it again. What we have created, Whenever there is a motion based on a SmartThink sensor, it will then create a trigger in IFTTT to turn on the light or pulse or flicker or however you might choose or whatever you guys chose to create in that trigger. That also will trigger a notification to your phone. That push notification that we receive by the phone will then trigger Tasker to run this profile which will then call this task playing that file. That's it. 
Super simple. Now remember guys, I have created that based on IFTTT and SmartThings. Of course I could have created everything directly from SmartThings or created everything directly from Tasker or even created everything directly from Google Home utilizing Google Nest Hello versus Ring versus Netgear Arlo Doorbell, etc, etc. The options are truly limitless. The reason why I chose in this tutorial show IFTTT is simplicity reasons only because everybody knows IFTTT. A lot of people use it, either the pro version or the free version. That's why I chose to set it up like that. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Of course, in the description, I will paste all of the steps and the links that required to achieve this outcome. And now I would like to show you guys a little demo from uh, last year's Halloween, how it really played in place. And of course, I'm going to set it up in this year's Halloween that's coming up in a couple of days. Thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope I'll see you in the next videos. If you did like it, please hit like and subscribe and that notification bell for the next videos. Thank you. Have a great day. Take only one. Mom. Take only one. Mom. You on camera. Ha, Mom. I will be a real freak. Now I can't get a freak. Take only one. You on camera. That's scary. Take only one, you on camera.